Good morning guys. I figured we could do a quick get ready with me, kind of like chit chat get ready with me. I know, I look crazy. I'm actually going to go get tape in extensions today and she said to only wash my hair with shampoo. So I did that and I just put it straight up because regardless I always do that right before I get my hair done. I always wash my hair the night before so it's like nice and clean. But yeah, so that's why it looks like a hot mess right now. Maybe I should have fixed it. Hold on. And then I cut my bangs myself last night, which nine out of ten times goes pretty well, but there's always that one time where it's a mess, but thankfully it worked out yesterday. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave the skincare on that I put on last night, so hopefully that's okay. Let's do two different primers. So I'm gonna use the Smashbox Fire Photo Finish Primer Water. I'm gonna let that kind of dry down for a second. I'm gonna go in with the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I'm on the fence about this. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of people with dry skin really like it, and I do have dry skin, but I just, I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of it. I don't know why. I feel like you have to use like certain foundations with it. Maybe that's why. But it is extremely sticky. Look, my eyebrows are all stuff. Let me comb those out. I bought a beard dye kit <clears throat> from Amazon. Do you guys remember during quarantine when everybody was like dyeing their eyebrow hairs? Um, so I bought one because I usually get my brows laminated, but I want to try dyeing them myself. So I got that from Amazon. So I might do like a little TikTok video over or something. So I busted this guy out yesterday and I forgot how much I liked it. This is the Collab Bright Spark Radiant Foundation. I have the shade Beige 04. So I'm going to use this. I used a brush yesterday to apply it, but I'm going to try it with a sponge today. So I got this. This is the only one that I have clean right now. If you guys could see my mess back here, you probably can when I move. And right here, oh, it is so bad but I want to try it with a sponge. I know I have a video testing this out, but it's been a while. And it smells like... Oh my gosh, I'm getting it everywhere. To me, it kind of smells like the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. It kind of has that, like, paint smell to it, but, like, in a good way. <laughs> so I'm just gonna tap this in. Ooh, it actually looks better with a sponge than it did with a brush. Hmm. I believe I got this foundation at Sally's. I think that's the only place that you can buy this brand. And they have a really good concealer too. I'll bust that out. We can use them together. Um, but I figured I'll do my makeup. Most of the time I kind of just skip doing my makeup these days. But I started like making myself do it again. And now... I love it again. I don't know. I feel like I just hit like a dry patch where I just was like unmotivated, you know? Yesterday, so I'm kind of doing like, um, when I do my makeup, when I'm not filming, I kind of like experiment a little bit. I used a different concealer yesterday when I did this, but we're going to do the collab concealer and see what happens. So this is the matching concealer. This is the No Flaws Liquid Concealer. I have the shade Porcelain. So yesterday I just, I can't remember what concealer I used yesterday, but this and then I put concealer right here because I don't like putting it right here on the very tip of my chin because I feel like it makes my chin look bigger. I do have some breakouts right here, so I want to cover that up. Okay, so I did that. And then to make it even brighter, I took this Maybelline cover stick in the shade white. It's just like a white concealer. And I just went like in between and like right up there where I have the most darkness. It worked yesterday, so <laughs> it'll work today. If not, that sucks. Um, I'm gonna blend that out with a brush. So we finally got a call, or Frank finally got a call about us moving and his new job starting. 
Sorry, like my throat's like all clogged up. I swear, this being sick, it's lasted like two months, but um, I'm not sick anymore. I just am congested congested a little bit still but uh frank finally got a phone call and they said they're gonna tentatively start him june 1st tentatively so that could still be like the end of june july 1st you know whatever but so i'm trying to prepare myself for the big move i don't even know what to do because like i don't think we're gonna have enough time to try to like buy a house or rent a house even and like in that short of time so i think the smart thing to do would be for him to go up first maybe rent like a studio apartment or something like that, get settled in because um, it's a summertime, thank goodness. So no school for Jaden, so we can kind of take our time to move up there. Um, so I think the smart thing to do would be for him to go first, get a little apartment, and then that gives us time to come up and stay with him and then like look for places, you know? Because I think as long as we're like in a place by, you know, before school starts, we're good. So I'm anxious, I'm getting anxious, you know? Um, because in October, I think it's October 4th, will be our 10-year anniversary of living in California, more specifically Southern California. So we'll be moving right before we hit our 10-year anniversary of being SoCal residents. We're going to be no NorCal residents. So um, I'm, I'm hoping that I can find another fit modeling agency in San Francisco. One of the girls that I've met through fit modeling down here... Um, she works with Patagonia with me, but she's with a different agency. She came from San Francisco and she had a fit agency there. So I'm hoping that I could, I'll see her again before I leave and then I can ask her and then maybe I can continue to work while I'm up there. I've been really liking this guy since I used it in that first impressions video. This is a Milani bronzer stick. Um, and they have like four shades of this. I know in that video I was like, oh, I don't know if they have like a bunch of, like a bunch of shades of this. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. But I looked when I went to go link it in my description, and they have like four shades. So, in case you were interested, they do have it. I might get like a lighter one just to have on hand, but I love this. Look, it blends out so nice, and it smells like really good. So that's my new favorite. <clears throat> For a little bit of shadow, I'm going to use my Anastasia contour stick. This is in the shade Fawn. I'm going to place that right underneath like this. And then I just do it in the gaps down here. I can't remember if I put on my nose yesterday. I'll put just a smidge. Just kind of like mix it in with that. Hmm. We can always go back at it. I look crazy. Like, I just ate chocolate or something. I'm going to skip my forehead for today. And let's do brows. <clears throat> so I'm going to go in with the Brow Gal. This little palette. And I just mix these two shades. Like, right there. Um, what else did I tell you guys? Oh, um, I went live. Okay, so I have a Facebook fan page from when I first started modeling so it's like 90 it's literally like 90 percent guys on there um <clears throat> but i have almost 900,000 uh people on my facebook fan page and i didn't even realize it when i saw it i was like oh my god um so i went on live yesterday for the first time on that page and it wasn't that bad to be honest i would do it again um most of the people that got on it were like uh, nice and respectful there is a few on there that were you know be guys being guys basically but it was kind of fun um, and I think it's good for like engagement and I think it's nice to see somebody in real life you know as opposed to always just seeing pictures of them so I think I might do it like once a week I was so nervous I was like I had this rose because I took some pictures with one yesterday um, it was part of like my Mother's Day bouquet that Frank got me <clears throat> and I was like twiddling it in my thumbs the entire time I was on live because I was so nervous. But it went well, so I think I might try to do it, like I said, like once a week. And then when I went to go play it back to listen to it, I could hear Harley singing the ABCs in the background. <laughs> oh, it was cute. So I think I might do that. And then it made me think that, oh, okay, maybe I should do live on my other social media. 
So let me know what you guys think because I know you can go live on YouTube but what's like a good time for you guys because I don't want to get on and then like none of you are able to like come on and like talk to me while I get ready. So let me know what a good day and a good time would be to go live on YouTube so you guys can hang out with me. And I'll do that and then I'll probably do like Instagram TikTok next. But yeah I didn't think I would like it but I kind of did. What else? So for my hair appointment today, I'm going to, she just did my hair like two weeks ago because, oh boy, it was a mess. So she put highlights in my hair and it's probably going to take one more session to get the color of hair that I want. So that's okay. But sorry, I feel like I say um so many times and then when I go back to edit videos, I'm like cutting it out every time. But She's in Corona Del Mar. I think she's like a mile or two away from Balboa Beach if you're familiar with that area. But I went to her. She's super nice. I really like her a lot. So I'm going to continue when we move. It's like a six hour drive back down here I think which isn't I know a lot of you are probably like oh my god but like to me I don't think it's that bad. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to use this NYX brow glue. I think I'm going to continue to come down here. Well, I kind of have to if I'm getting extensions. But I'm just going to drive down here like every two months and have her move up my extensions. I'm getting the tape-in ones, which supposedly are supposed to be the ones that are the best for your hair because they do the least amount of damage. I don't know. I've never had them. I have used like... Uh, clip-in extensions and then once upon a time like 10 plus years ago I got the glue-in extensions and it was a hot mess and it completely ruined my hair I had to cut my hair like all the way to my chin and I vowed that I would never get like real extensions again but then I kept seeing like the tape-in ones and I have like a chemical cut kind of like right here like my hair goes like this but not on purpose so I told her I just wanted the extensions to make my hair all the same length so I'm super excited they're Bellamy extensions she said which I have the I feel like the tapin ones are probably going to be a little bit different than the um clipping ones that I have I would think right I don't know but oh something's making my foundation come off so yeah I'm getting the tape ins we're doing like a light blonde color and then we're doing a warmer color because I have like a lot of warmth in my hair you can see it so I'm super excited for that and she said they last like you could use the same hair for like an entire year I think she said as long as you take really good care of it which I will so I'm gonna blend out this with um a Loris Larousse flat powder brush I don't really know but you can keep the same hair for like six months to a year I think she said I can't remember as long as you take really good care of it so I think that's cool and then sorry I feel like I'm talking about like five different things at once so I figured it'll be nice because I don't want to give up Southern California you know I just really like it here and I figured that would be a nice little road trip every couple of months to come down here and I'll just maybe come see if I can schedule my point for Friday afternoon and then leave Friday morning and then just get a hotel and stay like Friday Saturday drive home Sunday be a nice little like weekend giveaway getaway every couple of months so I think that's the plan but I'm excited to move to like an, a new area I guess I don't know like I know I've lived here for almost a decade and I feel like there's still like a lot of places that we haven't even gone because California is just so big and there's so many things to do like n nothing ever gets old here I feel like um I would assume maybe that's how northern California is too but I don't know so we decided that we would make a list of everything that we wanted to do before we moved even though it's not like we can't come back but you know so I definitely want to go to Disney before we leave because I know Harley really wants to go and then um, Jaden and I were talking about doing like a mother son thing at Universal Studios because like Frank doesn't really care to go but me and Jaden do so we're talking about doing that okay and then yesterday I went with this Fenty matchstick in the shade linen and I just used it to clean up down here and then I kind of rounded it like so 
can never tell if they're even. <laughs> and just pat that in. I love this brush for foundation. It's definitely like one of my favorites. It's the Morphe M439. So I'm just gonna kind of blend that out. But I'm excited to have like a new space. Like this room I'm in is super cramped. This house is a nice size, um, but I have a lot of stuff and we have outgrown this house. I think I've mentioned that before. So I'm excited to be like in a new area, a bigger house, have more space, not feel like we're like living on top of each other, I guess you would say. So that will be nice. But I'm also like extremely nervous. So I just don't, like I do get paid decent money to do social media, but like that keeps me in the house for the most part, you know, like I don't have to leave the house to do social media. And the fit modeling job that I have, I get to leave the house so I'm just like and it's something that I've wanted literally for like 10 years was like a solid modeling job and I finally got it so I'm really it's making me like sad and anxious and all of the above but um, I just hope that I can find something up there so where I can still do it I'm not ready to give it up yet <laughs> I mean, I will, but I don't want to, so. Okay, so something's going on. I don't think the primers like my nighttime skincare routine because it's kind of pulling off my face. So note to self, don't do that again. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna add a smidge of concealer down my nose. Just a little bit. My desk is such a mess. I feel like too there's like so much stuff that I still need to do. Like I already packed up my clothes which I think I mentioned to you guys. So I did that. I ordered these like blue like heavy duty duffel bags off of Amazon and I packed up all my clothes for the most part in those so that'll be fine. But I don't know how to move my makeup without it breaking so I couldn't I'm trying to decide if I should film a makeup collection which I know you guys have been asking for like five years and I've never done it I'm sorry um but I don't know if I should film a makeup collection before I leave so that way I'm not bringing everything or I should just wait and go there film a makeup collection and then go through things because I know if I went through things before we moved it would obviously be easier but um I don't know so I'm going to go in with the Becca under eye powder to set my under eyes and I've been using this beauty blender sponge guy. So I just dip in there and then I kind of like put it in the lid and tap it. So I don't know, but I never do things the easy way. So I'll probably end up bringing everything and then going through it there. But I think it'll be okay. I don't know. I forgot to do my cream blush. I knew I was forgetting something. I also plan on filming a Ross and Marshall's haul. Oh, I took Harley the other day. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you guys this. Okay, so I took, I've only taken Harley by myself like three times because she's a lot and it makes me nervous. It makes me nervous to even leave the house by myself, let alone with a toddler. So I'm gonna do my cream blush real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this Beauty For Real Blush and Glow. There's a lash on it. I'm gonna use the shade in the pink, which is over here. So I took her with me the other day. Um, give me just a second. And <clears throat> first stop was Ross. So, hold on, sorry, I'm a hot mess. Okay, so first stop was Ross. It was okay. Uh, we got there and like ever since she started daycare, she could already speak like really well, right? And then daycare, ha like she literally talks like she's like four or five. So it's crazy to me, right? Um, so we go to Ross and I'm like, okay, she wants to walk everywhere, which is fine. But I'm like, all right, you gotta walk and then you have to sit in the cart like a good girl. She's, she's like, okay. And I said, I will get you a prize if, or like a surprise if you sit in the cart and be good girl. And she's like, okay, mama. So she got in the cart. And she was fine. So we get in there and like, 
my Ross is set up to where when you first walk in, it's like all the shoes for like the women, right? So I always start from the front and go to the back. I don't know. I just always do that. So I was like, okay, let's go look at the shoes first and then we'll go look at toys. So we go in there. She goes, she saw this like mom and daughter. Like they were really far away from us. Thank God. But she goes, hey, they're going to take all my toys. Get away from my toys. And I was like, no. I was like, don't be that kid, please, 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 please. I was like, Harley, I was like, that is not nice. I was like, you have to be nice. I was like, and they're not even looking at the toys. They're looking at the baby clothes. And she was like, okay. And I was like, oh, God, I'm like mortified. Okay, so we, we look at all this stuff up front, and then we move to the back. I'm like, okay, you can pick out one thing, but you got to be a good girl, right? So she picked out a Minnie Mouse tea party. She's been talking about having a tea party for, like, the last few months, and we just haven't gotten around to, like, buying her, like, an actual tea party set so sorry I have to make sure I'm not running late um so we got I got her a Minnie Mouse tea party set it's super cute it was like 10 bucks so I got her that and then we spent like another 40 ish minutes in the store and she was telling everybody that walked by us hey I'm gonna go home and have a tea party with my dad da, 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 which I thought was super cute so she says that I'm gonna use Laura Mercier to um set my underneath so she she tells everybody that she's like hi i'm gonna have a tea party with my daddy and they're like oh cute you know and then she kept telling like the same people over and over and i felt like they were getting like i thought it was cute but they i feel like they were getting like annoyed because i feel like they just wanted to be there and like calmly shop without somebody like trying to talk to them every two seconds so then it started making me like super anxious you know because I didn't want anybody to get mad that she was like harassing them I guess you would say but it was okay so anyways we're in line um we make it to the checkout line I'm gonna use this broken physician's formula blush which I need to buy another one because I really like it it's in the shade natural and like I didn't even do anything for this to break it kind of like broke on its own so I'm just like super confused as to what happened but um so anyways we're in line and there's this lady behind us and if I had to guess, like 40s, 50s maybe, probably 50s. So she's in line and she's talking to Harley. And Harley's talking back to her and she's like, I'm going to have a tea party with my dad. And the lady's like, I know, I heard you or whatever. Because literally you could hear Harley across the store. So um, she's like, yeah. And then she was like, how old are you? And Harley doesn't know what to say yet. So I was like, oh, she's two and a half. And she's like, oh, she's so cute. And like, she speaks like really well. And I was like, thank you. Um... Sorry. So we're talking to this lady and Harley's just telling her a bunch of random stuff, right? So then she goes, are you going to invite your mommy to your tea party? And she's like, yes, mommy and daddy are my best friends, which is super cute. I'm going to use this Cody Airspun highlighter. It's in the sh shade Snow Much, Snow Much Ice. And uh, Harley was like, I love my daddy. Da -da 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 -da. I love my mommy. Blah, 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 blah. Like saying stuff like that. And the night before, okay, so I'll tell you what she said, and I'll tell you why she said it. Okay, so Harley watches this, like, YouTube channel where these kids always dress up as, like, cops, and then they arrest everybody, right? So she always wants to play that. So the night before, so she goes, my daddy's in jail. And I was like, what? I was like, what? And she goes, what did she say? And I was like, uh, I don't know what she said because I was like so embarrassed that she said that, you know, because he's not, you know, and I know the lady heard her like I know it. I feel like the lady was just like playing dumb because she wanted to hear me say it. So I was like, oh, I don't know what she said. I was like, she's just being silly or whatever. And I feel like the lady she goes, oh, like she heard, you know, and anyway, so like we always play that with Harley at home because she just, she likes to, like, arrest people and take them to jail. I don't know. It's from this, like, little show that she always watches. And, um, the night before we were playing it and we were actually using, like, the oven mitt as, like, handcuffs and she was putting our hands in it and then taking us to jail. So, I was literally mortified. Um, <laughs> you guys, I can't. Kids literally say the darndest things. So, yeah, then Harley, like, she can be sassy. So I'm gonna use this Cody Airspun to set the rest of my face. So she can be sassy. Like, I don't, I try to correct her and tell her not to be rude or anything like that, but like, she kind of just marches to the beat of her own drum, which I was like that as a child too. I think I was just more quiet. She's very outspoken. Um, but 
then she goes she tells the lady she's like you can't come to my tea party and I was like oh the lady's like what and I was like oh she invited you to her tea party you know I'm like Harley why are you doing it? it's like Harley will be like really nice and then when she's over it she'll she'll be kind of rude and I don't know why she does that like we don't talk like that to her so I don't know where she gets it um so then she go it's our turn to go check out and she turns the lady and she goes you need to wait your turn and I was like oh my god thank god I don't think the lady heard anything she said because she was saying it like super quiet and she still kind of has like that baby talk I'm like why is she doing this you know like part of me wanted to laugh which I didn't and then the other part of me was like why are you being like this you know so anyway so we go we check out and we're at the register and she's talking to the cashier and she's like hi how are you today you know blah 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 and this other cashier walks by and Harley goes hi and she was like hi and she goes I missed you so much today and then everybody started laughing and I thought it was like hilarious so we leave there I call Frank and I'm like I was like I have to tell you something that she said but I don't want to repeat it because I don't want her to repeat it so I told her or I told him all the other stuff so then we put the stuff in the car and my Ross and Marshall's is like right next to each other so we put the Ross stuff in the car found some cute stuff I I'm gonna post my Ross and Marshall's haul on here. You guys should see it in the next couple days. So anyways, um, I need to set my face real quick. I'm gonna use the MAC Fix Plus and the Morphe setting spray. I want more of like a matte look today, I think. Sorry, my bangs are just... Okay, so anyway, so we go to Marshall's. Everything's good. She's being nice. She's saying hi to everybody, you know, like doing her thing. And then we were like, we were looking at jeans, I think. And this girl comes walking by. She's like in her 20s. And Harley was like, I like your backpack. And I was like, what? I was like, you did not. I gotta get a palette. I'm just gonna use this real quick. Sorry. Um, this beige color and then that lighter color. Just something super simple. So she tells this girl, she goes, I like your backpack. And I like stopped what I was doing. I was like, did you just give her a compliment? Like we tell Harley that, you know, like things that we like about her all the time. Like her personality and her clothes, you know, just like stuff like that. And I was like seriously shocked that she was giving this girl a compliment. You know, a two and a half year old. I just like couldn't get over it. So I was like super amazed by it, you know? Anyway, so she's talking to her and she's telling her about the tea party. She told everybody about the tea party. And then she was like, I like your backpack. And I was just like, oh my God, I cannot believe she did that. So anyway, she did that. And then we kept like looking around the store. And then, like I said, like, I would like to hope that she wasn't being like super loud, but people kept coming up to us to talk to her. So I'm assuming that her voice carried, but, um, we're looking at the athletic stuff and this lady comes up and she was like, oh, I heard you from over there. She's like, I was having a really sad day and um, you really helped brighten my day up. And I was like, oh, cute. Um, so Harley saw her fingernails and she's like, I like your nails. And I was just like, what the heck? You know, like, I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. And she's like, oh, thank you. Um, and then Harley told her it was her birthday today, which her birthday's in October. And she goes, is her birthday today? And I was like, no. I was like, it's actually in October. She goes, oh, it's okay. We can have birthdays every day. <laughs> so we talked to that lady for a little bit and then we just kind of like shopped around. I found really good stuff at Marshall's. This is your sign to go. Like Marshall's was good. Ross was okay. Ross was better than usual, um, but Marshall's was really good. So, um, if you're looking for something to do, I would go check those out. We don't have a TJ Maxx close to me, but I would have gone there if I had a chance. I have um, anxiety. I think I mentioned it before. Some days are better. Some some days I don't have it terrible. Some days I don't have it at all. Sometimes the days are like way worse than others, right? Um, so it's really hard for me to go leave the house by myself. Like when I go to work, I get nervous still, but I'm fine. But if I go to the store by myself, I lose my mind, right? So me going to the store by myself is already like a big thing, but then bringing Harley, which just wants to talk to everybody, literally is like, <gasps> you know, for me. But I think if I continue to take her out, which I will, maybe that'll like help me. Um, Cause it's kind of like making me talk to people, you know? So I don't know, it's either gonna help me or make it worse. <laughs> but 
yeah I'm just lightly putting this on my lower lash line so I have something down there and then I need I don't think I did put that highlighter up there so I don't think I really need that there's like a shimmer shade in here called wink wink it's right there in the middle I'm just gonna use that for my inner corner highlight But all in all, I think I kept her out for like two hours shopping, like literally. Because I take forever when it's just me, but when you bring a little one, it takes longer, you know? But she was really good, so I don't know if I would take her out shopping like that for that long again because it was a little overwhelming. But it was the one thing about having a nose ring, I always get makeup all over and it drives me absolutely insane. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do some waterproof mascara and call it a day. Oh, usually I put on like a little bit of lashes, but I just, I don't feel like it today. So I used these guys in a hot minute. So let's try them out again. This is the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Base. So I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to use the matching mascara, but in waterproof. I've been putting castor oil. Like I put castor oil on my brows before I go to bed. So I started putting them on, I started putting it on my lashes and my lower lash line. And I feel like it like... I haven't even been doing it for that long and I feel like it made a huge difference in my lashes like crazy because I had lash extensions right so they were pretty stumpy after that but like I think it really did help so I'm gonna continue to do that and I'm sure it's probably safer right than putting like the lash growth serums on let's see what else can I tell you guys I gotta let this dry a little bit um, I think I'm going to wear a gloss today. Last time I went, I wore liquid lipstick because I know when I get my hair highlighted, my hair is like all over the place and I come back and like all this makeup's missing, you know? I'm going to go in with something I haven't used in a while. What is this? This Kylie Iced Latte Liner. Let's use this. Oh, I was saying that I wore a liquid lip because I know when I get my hair done it's all over the place and I didn't want to get stuck in the gloss but I think I could get away with wearing a gloss today I don't know yeah I shouldn't I feel like I never use these anymore and they're like really good okay so I have these two shades which one should I use this is seductress and dreamer which I think I wore for my wedding let's see should we just mix both let's mix both okay so let's go in with seductress first That looks really good with this Kylie lip liner. What a pretty lip combo. I don't know, maybe I won't go in with that other shade. This is kind of just pretty on its own, right? I'm gonna go in with the lip liner just a little bit. Should I just leave it? I don't know, I feel like I should just leave it. But then I feel like I should go in with the other color and brighten it up a little bit. I don't know what to do. Let's you. Okay, I have this shade too. I didn't realize I had so many of these. This is in the shade Driver. I think it's more of a nude. Let's see. I'm just going to put it on my finger. Okay. Did it brighten it up? I thought it did, but now I don't feel like it did. I don't know. <laughs> poet. Did I tell you guys the name is? I took Poet and put it in the middle. I think anyways. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I think that's the one I used. But um, I'm going to add the mascara now. But have you guys seen the new Maybelline Matte Ink like liquid vinyl lipsticks or something? I pretty much check the new arrivals on Ulta.com like every day just to see like what's going on and I saw it a couple weeks ago um but I try not to buy more than like $50 worth of makeup a month so like makeup or hair products like I try not to buy any more than that but uh I saw it on there and I think I'm gonna get one 
because they remind me of these like buxom ones that were like straight i can't remember what they were called but they were like actual like liquid lipsticks they were shiny they weren't matte like this but i think that's what this new maybelline thing is like i think they're just like shiny liquid lips but i don't know if they transfer i don't know if they dry down shiny i mean i don't even know if things can drive down shiny you know i don't know so i thought about getting one just to see but let me know what you guys think if you guys have seen them in the store or not oh they're getting a little see how they just like fell down i feel like that always happens to me when i use a lash primer and then i watch people on youtube and they use lash primers and their lashes look amazing so i don't know i'm just gonna go in with this elf milk jumbo pencil for my waterline I'm doing good on time, surprisingly. I have to leave it to 30, so. I'm gonna use my new favorite, the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. It's like, even with the world's tiniest wand, I still make a huge mess down here. I've been putting, seriously, mascara on my lower lashes for my, like, entire life, and I'm still not good at it. Oh, I just made the biggest mess down there. I gotta wait for it to dry so I can fix it. <laughs> oh, goodness. I feel like if my lashes were longer down there, I wouldn't have this problem. Um, I'm gonna add some loose powder down there so it doesn't transfer. Frank hates my brows when I get them laminated. I like them. One, I think they make my forehead smaller, and two, I feel like, I don't know. I just really like them. But other than that, I feel like that's the only thing, like, he ever complains about. It's like he hates when I brush them up. But I love them. I feel like this didn't dry down, which is weird. Because I thought, I mean, it worked for my wedding and it, it lasted all day and it dried down. So I don't know why it's not. Ooh, I definitely want to do a giveaway before we move to. I have a whole entire box full of stuff. So I'm going to do that here soon. Maybe I can do, like, a daily vlog or something and then add it on there. We'll see. So, this is the finished makeup look. Do you guys want to say hi to Harley real quick? I have time, so let me get her to come up here. I'll say hi to the... Yeah. Okay. Get in! Oh, let's go say hi. Hi. Oh, let's get in the chair with me and say hi. Uh -huh. Okay. Hi! <laughs> here, wait for it to light up. Okay, say hi! Hi! <laughs> Oh, I got the hiccups. I know. I want to do a video of her doing my makeup. I think it'd be so cute. Look, you can see yourself in there. Watch. Oh, you're so cute. Mommy, I can't sit down. Okay, you want to sit right there? So, the, sorry, I got the hiccups. This is basically the final makeup look. I guess this would be kind of like an everyday look. But thank you guys so much for sitting down and getting ready with me today. Let me know any video requests or anything you want to tell me in the comments below. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys later. You want to say bye? Bye. Here. Show your face. You can say bye. Bye. Say have mommy, a Mommy, mommy. I'm trying to do my makeup. Okay, can you say have a good day? Have a good day. <laughs> I'm kidding.